In cryptography, triple days is the common name for the triple data encryption algorithm symmetric key block cipher, which applies the data encryption standard cipher algorithm three times to each data block. The original DES cipher's key size of 56 bits was generally sufficient when that algorithm was designed, but the availability of increasing computational power made brute force attacks feasible. Triple DES provides a relatively simple method of increasing the key size of DES to protect against such attacks, without the need to design a completely new block cipher algorithm. Definitive Standards the triple data encryption algorithm is defined in each of ANS by 9.52-1998 triple data encryption algorithm modes of operation. FIPS Pub 46 to 3 Data Encryption Standard, NIST Special Publication 867 Revision 1 Recommendation for the Triple Data Encryption Algorithm Block Cipher, ISO, IEC 18033-3 to 2010, Part 3, Block Ciphers, Name of the Algorithm. The earliest standard that defines the algorithm describes it as the triple data encryption algorithm, i.e., three operations of the data encryption algorithm specified in ANSI by 3.92, and does not use the terms triple DES or DES at all. FIPS Pub 46-3 defines the triple data encryption algorithm, but also uses the terms DES and triple DES. It uses the terms data encryption algorithm and DES interchangeably, including starting the specification with the data encryption standard shall consist of the following data encryption algorithm, SIC and triple data encryption algorithm. NIST SP 867 primarily uses the term TDEA, but also refers to triple DES. ISO, IEC 18033-3 uses TDEA, but mentions that the TDEA is commonly known as triple DES, while none of the standards that define the algorithm use the term 3DES. This term is used by some vendors, users, and cryptographers. Algorithm. Triple DES uses a key bundle that comprises three DES keys, K1, K2 and K3, each of 56 bits. The encryption algorithm is ciphertext equals EK3, i.e., DES encrypt with K1, DES decrypt with K2, then DES encrypt with K3. Decryption is the reverse. Plain text equals DK1, i.e., decrypt with K3, encrypt with K2, then decrypt with K1. Each triple encryption encrypts one block of 64 bits of data. In each case the middle operation is the reverse of the first and last. This improves the strength of the algorithm when using keying option 2, and provides backward compatibility with DES with keying option 3. Keying options the standards define three keying options. Keying option 1 All three keys are independent. Keying option 2 K1 and K2 are independent, and K3 equals K1. Keying option 3 All three keys are identical, i.e., K1 equals K2 equals K3. Keying option 1 is the strongest, with 3 times 56 equals 168 independent key bits. Keying option 2 provides less security, with 2 times 56 equals 112 key bits. This option is stronger than simply DES encrypting twice, e.g., with K1 and K2, because it protects against meat in the middle attacks. Keying option 3 is equivalent to DES, with only 56 key bits. It provides backward compatibility with DES, because the first and second DES operations cancel out. It is no longer recommended by the National Institute of Standards and Technology, and is not supported by ISO, IEC 18033-3. Each DES key is nominally stored or transmitted as 8 bytes, each of odd parity, so a key bundle requires 24 bytes for option 1, 16 for option 2 or 8 for option 3. Other terms, keying option N, is the term used by the standards that define
define the TDEA. However, other terms are used in other standards and related recommendations, and general usage. For keying option 1, 3 TDEA, in NIST SP 800-57 and SP 800-78, triple length keys, in general usage. For keying option 2, 2 TDEA, in NIST SP 800-57 and SP 800-78, double length keys, in general usage. Encryption of more than one block. As with all block ciphers, encryption and decryption of multiple blocks of data may be performed using a variety of modes of operation, which can generally be defined independently of the block cipher algorithm. However, ANS by 9.52 specifies directly, and NIST SP 800-67 specifies via SP 800-38A that some modes shall only be used with certain constraints on them that do not necessarily apply to general specifications of those modes. For example, ANS by 9.52 specifies that for cipher block chaining, the initialization vector shall be different each time, whereas ISO, IEC 10116 does not. FIPS PUB 46-3 and ISO, IEC 18033-3 define only the single block algorithm. In do not place any restrictions on the modes of operation for multiple blocks. Security. In general, triple days with three independent keys has a key length of 168 bits, but due to the meet in the middle attack, the effective security it provides is only 112 bits. Keying option 2 reduces the effective key size to 112 bits. However, this option is susceptible to certain chosen plain text or known plain text attacks, and thus, it is designated by NIST to have only 80 bits of security. The best attack known on keying option 1 requires around 232 known plain texts, 2,113 steps, 290 single des encryptions, and 288 memory. This is not currently practical and NIST considers keying option 1 to be appropriate through 2030. If the attacker seeks to discover any one of many cryptographic keys, there is a memory-efficient attack which will discover one of 228 keys. Given a handful of chosen plain texts per key and around 284 encryption operations, usage, the electronic payment industry uses triple DES and continues to develop and promulgate standards based upon it. Microsoft OneNote Microsoft's Outlook 2007 and Microsoft's System Center Configuration Manager 2012 use triple DES to password protect user content and system data.